Hi, my Pisces and Pisces rising friends. Sandra from ForYourChi.com. Thank you for being here. Welcome to your July 2021 reading with me. Let's get to it, shall we? The first house, we pulled obstacles and challenges. We also pulled the Earth Fairy from the Colette Baron Reads Wisdom of Avalon deck here. So what these two cards say together in your first house, how are you feeling as we hit the first week of July here? Are you feeling tired or is your energy, does it feel stagnant? I feel like, you know, the Earth Fairy talks about grounding. Certainly it's time to get outside and get some fresh air, especially if you guys have been cooped up in the house for some reason. Even if it's raining outside, it would be advisable to go out for five minutes and just breathe in some fresh air. If you can get your feet in the ground, that would help also. But make sure you're taking care of your health and the onset of July especially. Now the second house rules money and your stuff. You have spiritual union and you also have the grail knight here. So these two cards together are in interesting. The spiritual union card is a big message in your second house of possessions and finances. Some of you could be giving out major money this month. Some of you could receive inheritances, or someone may actually gift you a prized possession. Whatever happens to your money or your stuff in the month of July is completely intended, spirit intends for it to happen, and you have agreed to it before you ever came into this lifetime. The Grail Knight talks about seeking the sacred too, which makes me, and he has a golden cup. You could actually receive some sort of gold coins, gold jewelry, um, and this item, it may be so old that it seems or looks, or maybe it is even sacred or scarce or something like that. So, and I'm, oh, check it out. I forgot about this. This card also has the gold cup. You have two gold cups in the second house. That's pretty amazing. Let me know if anyone received anything gold. I'd love to hear it. Okay, third house, conflict and defeat. This house rules your siblings, brother, sister. They need to walk away for, from an argument or perhaps you need to walk away from an argument with one of them in July. Now we have the cat here, which talks about independence and funny enough, healthy boundaries, right? So I feel like if this is an argument with your brother or sister, you are not going to allow them to walk all over you where perhaps you once did that. A cat certainly will not tolerate that and neither should you this month. Or you may have to have a conversation with your brother or sister that they need to finally put their foot down with someone or a certain situation. Moving on to the fourth house. Your fourth house represents your home where you currently live. For some of you, um, your father or father figure can show up in the fourth house as well. Wisdom, this is the teacher. Now for some of you, this is going to mean that your father teaches you some sort of lesson this month or father figure could be stepfather, could be father-in-law. Um, and for some of you, this could also mean that you are being taught a lesson as far as something to do with a home or a home purchase or where you live. Perhaps you are learning something new or you're learning some sort of home improvement skills. We have the mystery here. So there is a message of a hidden lesson at the end of all of this, particularly if this is a long project that's undertaken with regard to a move a home renovation, something like that. Good message, nonetheless. Fifth house, rest and rejuvenate. You are not feeling like you want to go out and kick up your heels this month. Perhaps you do need extra rest. I do feel a sense of a pullback from a friend group this month. This does not mean that this is a permanent pullback. I feel like it's temporary and you're thinking about certain things, friendships, relationships, things like that. Now, for those of you 
who are in a dating relationship with someone, you may feel a pullback from them this month because this is sort of my relationship time out card message with that card in your sixth house. You have the stag here, which talks about pride and leadership. So there is pride involved here. Um, there could be someone's ego here that's hurt, especially if we are talking about a dating relationship. But regardless, this message says that you come on top. This dude is on top of the mountain looking at the scenery, and that is where you will be at the end of the month in that particular house and situation. Sixth house. Sacral chakra, sixth house rules work and health. So there's something that you want here. Again, how is your health, Pisces? Do you need to tend to it? Do you need to go to the doctor? The, the sacral chakra talks about desires and wants. You want something here. For some of you, this could be talking about work. You're not working in a situation and environment that you would like to work in. However, this is also the desperate card where you need and want something so badly that you're actually pushing it away. So whatever it is here in the sixth house, it needs to be tended to, you know, if you're having physical symptoms, get to a doctor right away. If you are not in a ideal working situation, then you're going to want to get your resume out there, but you have to get rid of how you feel about it first because the desperation will push the new job away. You have to be grateful for what you have first. Now the wasp here sort of compounds this message of desperation because it talks about anger and jealousy. You may be in a, in a work situation where a coworker is angry or you have a spat with them or they are jealous of you. Um, We've got that situation going on, so there definitely is a sixth house warning message for you guys. Your seventh house, now, for those of you coupled, Destiny is the Wheel of Fortune card. It's the luckiest card in the whole deck. There definitely is something lucky in a relationship for you, and I've also seen this card meaning that there is extra luck coming to your and good fortune coming to your partner for those of you that are coupled um, in your seventh house so your partner could receive more money surprise money they could win a small sum on a scratch off lottery ticket something like that and the reason this is happening now is there is someone has let something go here so the it's funny that we have the letting go message when we just pulled the sacral chakra in the sixth house. So the sacral chakra, that's the key to, I always talk about manifesting when I see that card. For some reason, I didn't mention it. The sacral chakra, you know, the key to manifestation is, of course, being in gratitude for what you already have. But the other piece of that is letting go of the expectation of the outcome. And I always give this story about the I won the lottery shows. Have you ever seen the I won the lottery shows on cable TV? I don't know if they still have them because I haven't seen them in a while. But 99% of the stories, they all had the same story. They bought the ticket. They completely forgot about the drawing. They didn't check it until days later or someone mention that the winner was you know where they bought the ticket they never thought it would happen to them they completely let go of the outcome and bam that's when it happened right so there's something to be said about letting go in any situation letting go and letting god right eighth house intimacy Eighth house rules intimacy, taxes, contracts, legal matters, the source of your significant other's income for those of you that have that. Throat chakra says that someone needs to speak up here. For example, if you are in, for those of you that are coupled, if you have a partner who is not doing right by the partnership because they are not you know, if they're responsible for filing the taxes or something and they didn't file the taxes, 
but they filed an extension and then they're blowing the money for that are supposed to pay for the taxes. You need to be the one to speak up here. If this is talking about your intimacy department and you are not satisfied in the bedroom and you have not spoke your mind, it is time to speak your mind. I'm just giving you examples of what this eight house in that throat chakra message reads. Now there's definitely, we've got an, an abundance card here. So I feel like as soon as you speak up about whatever this is, the magic begins to happen and you start to receive that which you were lacking before. So make sure you are vocal to your partner in that or whomever you need to be vocal to in that eighth house. Ninth house rules your travel. It also rules your school for those of you that are in school or considering going to school or take, taking a class. Mental conflict says there's some confusion. So you're not quite sure what to do here. Perhaps you're on the fence about booking that vacation um, or signing up for that school. I definitely would not advise you to do either one of those. Do not finalize those plans this month. You need some clarity here. This also could involve someone that's throwing you mixed messages. They're telling you one thing. Yes, they want to go on vacation with you, but they're doing something else that's contrasting that message that's leaving you confused and you're going to need to get to the bottom of that before you click the pay button. You pulled the love card here, so this definitely involves someone or something you love. If you're, if this is a class that you want to sign up for, it's definitely something that you are going to love to do. Um, or the des maybe it's that you love the destination or you love the people who are at your destination. So you're definitely going to want to sort that out in the ninth house there and let go or release that confusion, resolve it. Tenth house rules your career, also rules your mother. Emotional withdrawal says that you are taking some time out. You may need to recharge your batteries. You may want to go near a body of water to meditate and think about your career job situation. Because you pulled those messages in your sixth house, I feel like for the majority of you, it is going to be talking about work and career. However, for some of you, it could be talking about your mother. Your mother may need some time out meditation time. Now we do have disruption in the 10th house here. Okay, so this is definitely not the best ideal work situation card with your 6th and 10th house lit up in such a red flag way. You know, it just feels like um, you've had much better days at your job and the contrast is leading you elsewhere. That's definitely what it feels like to me, Pisces. Okay, 11th house. 11th house rules children, also rules best friends for those of you that don't have children, truth. So this card is for them. It says that they can no longer keep sweeping a situation under the rug. It is time for them to deal with whatever reveals its ugly head for them in the month of July. What's the oracle card? We have the spider. The spider talks about creative projects here. So perhaps it's that they have been putting off their creativity because they are spending, and I say this a lot, too much time in their room video gaming or on YouTube, right? When they could be doing this they could be creating this wonderful thing that would bring so much joy and be productive, right? So you may be the wise person to deliver that message, I feel like, again. 12th house. 12th house rules the future, specifically three months from now. So look for this in the month of October. This is another creative card. Pisces are a very creative zodiac sign. You have a very creative energy. You could have a creative spark coming up for October. You could be doing artwork. You could be playing instruments, um, making music. You could be writing music in October. October is um, a very good month for you. And you also have movement here. So um, I feel like also for Pisces that October is going to be a much better month for your work. Um, and career, 
there's something about when the sun comes in Scorpio, and I'm sure that you're going to have a trine, some sort of water trine in your chart then at the end of October and even into November. I can't wait to see what your card says, your 12th house says next month. Make sure you look for that August reading when I post it. Look for that 12th house to see what comes up for November. That will be exciting. Thanks so much for being here with me, Pisces. Have a wonderful month.